These results are from a store that we built using the exact same strategy that you're going to be seeing today. In the first day of product testing, we spent just about $32 and made almost $700 in sales back. This was a store in the pet niche that we built on the same free venture theme that we're going to be using today. Stay tuned to see exactly how we did it. Welcome back for the finale of the Zendrop Shopify Store Build Series. I'm Bruce from Ecom Kong, and I'm super excited to get started taking the final steps to finally building out this dropshipping store. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the full website customization using the free venture theme that's available to everyone. Stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to be sharing with you the free graphic design platform that we use to create all of our logos and ad creatives for our stores. And before you do anything else, smash that like button. Let's get started. Okay, so now we're back in the Shopify dashboard. We've already created the foundation of our store. We've added products, we've added apps, we've set up the pages, we've set up the settings correctly. Now it's time to build out our website and we do that by coming into the online store over here on the left and we'll go to themes. And right now the default theme that's on here is debut and that's a pretty good theme. Um, Instead, we're going to come in here and check out some of the other free themes that are offered by Shopify. Simple, boundless, venture, narrative. And all of these pretty much do the same thing. You can go in and choose um, whichever theme that you, uh, you like. We're going to choose venture for this video. Um, in my opinion, this is uh, one, of, one of the best free themes to build out a niche store, especially uh, for fitness. So we're going to go add to theme library and we're going to let that load okay so venture was added successfully to our dashboard so now to publish it to our website we're going to choose actions and publish and now we'll go ahead and let that load all right and now it's live and also before we do anything else and before we start running traffic to our website we're going to go ahead and disable the password on the store and now the online store is live. And this is kind of what the venture theme looks like uh, when you first upload it. Um, as you can see, we have our product right here. And now this is what the new product page looks like. Okay, so now we're gonna start customizing the venture theme. So we're gonna click customize. So now over here on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see all the different sections that we can add um, to the website. And we're going to go ahead and show you exactly how we like to build out ours inside the venture theme. So first we have the header. This is where we can go ahead and add a logo, um, which we can do uh, in a later video. It's very simple. All you need to do is what we use is Canva. If you want a, a good free platform to create a, a logo. Canva is a great one to, to do so. And all you do is you'll upload the Im image right here and it will appear right there on your website. We also like to add an announcement to the top here and we'll say free worldwide shipping. Save, and as you can see, that just popped up right there. So that's the heading. The slideshow we don't want to do a carousel, we just want one image here. So we're going to go ahead and delete this second slide. And now for the first slide, we're going to go ahead and upload one of the free images related to uh, fitness, because it's going to be a fitness niche. Here we go. And remember to always click save periodically throughout as you're going through and customizing your your theme. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change the this heading right here. Uh, we're just going to call it um, get get in shape. You could put anything you want here. Um, <laughs> hopefully something better than this. Uh, but button label. We'll do shop now. And we'll choose the collection list. Best sellers. Save. So now once they come and land on your homepage, all you need to do is click shop now and they'll be brought to all the products in the collection. 
So now we'll come back to the home page. And we'll add the collections list. So or actually instead of the collections list, we're gonna go ahead and just create a collection here. So we're gonna get rid of the collection list because we only have one collection right now. Delete. And we're gonna go ahead and change this one to best sellers. And we like everything looking clean, so we're just gonna go ahead and leave, uh, we're just gonna make one row here instead of having that awkward two products over here. So now we're starting to build out our store. As you can see here, we have the first slideshow image. We have the, the navigation. We can add our logo. You scroll down and now you can start to see some of the products. And now we're gonna come down and edit this image with text. Now we want this image to be the featured product. Whichever product we're running ads for, um, this is the image that we're gonna, we're gonna put here. So we have this one right here. Um, and you can change the text over here we usually call it, uh, we'll, we'll write a headline like uh, elevate your workout. Um, and you can write whatever text you want here and then you can link it to the product page. It's click save. So now they see the product, they see the headline and if they click the text underneath it, they're taken right to the product page. So now the next section that we're going to add right underneath the image with the text is a little testimonial section. So we'll come down here, um, testimonials, add. And so what this will do is it'll create a carousel of testimonials and you can create them yourself or you can uh, copy and paste them from uh, the Luke's reviews that, that you already added. And um, It'll just kind of start to build some of that social proof. So we like to add in anywhere from three to five quotes and, uh, and testimonials. And like I said, you can go ahead and create those yourself or you can copy and paste them from, uh, from the ones that you imported using Luke's. And now we are going to add one more section. We're gonna add the featured product. Choose. Okay, so now we're now the store is starting to come together really nicely. If we look on mobile here. We got our navigation menu, free worldwide shipping. We got the button right here with the slideshow, the featured collection, the featured product, testimonials, and the free, featured product again. If they click full details, they can go on right to the product page. We'll come back to the home screen and we're going to add one more section here at the bottom and that's going to be for the newsletter. So like we said, we like to use Klaviyo as an email marketing tool. Um, anytime a customer comes to your website, we want to try to get them on that email list, whether or not they add a product to the cart or not. So we're going to go ahead and we'll write want discounts. And we'll change this to sign up to receive news on flash sales and discounts directly to your inbox. And hopefully that, that'll be eye catching enough where a customer comes to your homepage and they see want discounts, they'll go ahead and put their email in and we'll usually shoot them a 15% discount um, when they first sign up. So now coming down to the footer menu, as you can see, we have search, contact us, privacy policy, refund policy, so terms of service and shipping policy. Now you can go ahead and add, if you, if you create a Instagram page or you have a Facebook, your Facebook business page and you wanna go ahead and add that over here, you can under follow us. Um, Right now, we don't have that uh, for this store, so we're just gonna go ahead and remove it. 
And this is our store. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the theme settings. Um, so as you can see, we have colors, typography, collection page, social media, favicon, and checkout. So we usually go in and edit each one of these. If you want, you can go ahead and change the color scheme of the store. Right now, I think we like these colors. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and keep them. But yeah, you can go ahead and play around with this for your own store to customize it however you like. We're going to, if you like, you can change the typography. You can change the, the font for, for your store. This one looks pretty good for a, for a fitness store, so we're gonna go ahead and keep that. Collection page, if you wanna show your product vendor. So right now we have the product vendor as Ecom Kong uh, example. So Ecom Kong example, you'll see that right there. We're gonna go ahead and take that out. You can keep it though, if, you, if you'd like. Again, your social media uh, URLs, if you wanna connect your social media to your store, you can do that right here. You can upload your favicon right here. And what that what a favicon is, is when you go on desktop and you open up a website and you look on the tab, it's that little logo that pops up right next to the website's name. So we suggest that you go ahead and add your, your logo right here so that your uh, favicon will appear and match your website. So now we'll come into checkout. We'll leave the banner image alone, but what we will do is add a logo to the checkout page just to kind of keep that continuity going across our entire website and across that entire uh, buying process. Um, that Adding a logo to the checkout page will definitely increase your conversion rate and it'll build your store's, uh, your trust with your customers. So we, won't, we don't really play around with some of the stuff too much. If you wanna go ahead, you can add background images to the order summary, um, the main content area. We really don't do that. Uh, the main the main thing on this page is adding your logo adding your logo to the checkout page so now we're going to jump in and we're going to start to create our logo and we like to use canva.com it's a free software available to anybody who has access to the internet and we're going to go click home and they make it really easy to uh to create a logo from scratch all you have to do is go to create design and choose logo and if you look over here on the left side of the screen They'll have a bunch of templates that you can use to go ahead and give you some inspiration to get started. But we're gonna go ahead and create our own uh, really quickly. We like to keep things really simple. Um, so we're gonna do two racing stripes to kind of stick with that fitness theme. And now we wanna be sure that this color matches the color that's on the store. So we're gonna come back into customize, theme settings, colors, and we want it to match this blue. So we're gonna go here and copy this and come back and paste that in right here. And there's the blue. We're gonna do the same thing for this. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in a text box. We're gonna name it Ecom Kong. And we're gonna go ahead and change the, the font up to something a little different. So one more thing that uh, you want to notice is our background is going to be black. So we want our text uh, to be white so that we'll, we'll be able to see it. So what we're actually going to go ahead and do is once we get these things lined up, we're going to go ahead and change this text to be white. And we're going to change the background to be black. All right, so now let's go ahead and make everything, all the sizing uh, look good. Make this a little bigger. All right, that looks simple enough. We're going to go ahead and download this. So now we're going to open it up and we're going to go ahead and crop this image. We're just going to do a little rectangle just like that and crop 
And so now we're going to go ahead and use another free tool. We're going to go ahead and Google transparent background. And we're going to come down and we like to use online PNG tools. And we're just going to import a photo. We're going to go ahead and find the one that we just cropped right here. And make sure that the transparency color is set to black because that's the that's the color that we want transparent and we're going to do save as and download now we're going to come back over into our store come back over to sections and header logo select image or actually we don't even have to do that we can just drag it drag it in and now we have our logo click save And there it is. Now we've added our logo to the store. Now you also want to go back into the checkout and add the logo here too, so that everything is flush um, throughout your store. And now the store is set up and ready to go. So now we'll do a quick run through of the entire store. Right now we're on the home page. And we'll come back up and check out the bestsellers collection and our featured product. And as always for the featured product, we also have an upsell. Now this store is ready to go. So that does it for the Zendrop Shopify store build series. If you haven't already signed up for your free 90 day Shopify trial or free Zendrop plan, the links will be in the description below. Stay tuned for the next video dropping this week going over our product testing Facebook ad strategy. You're not going to want to miss it. Before you leave, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. We really appreciate your support for the channel. See you soon.